Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how you can easily create a lock screen for your Ionic app. And therefore, I've created a blank new Ionic app and we start directly by uh, installing this package. And this package is actually something I created, um, but I don't want to take the credits for this because um, I basically took this Ionic 2 lock screen GitHub repository and changed a few things and wrapped it inside um, a module so you can easily install it using npm to your Ionic app. So therefore you can check out the page, it is uh, inside the article linked um, and see what uh, Carson has done. Great job, thanks again Carson. Okay. Um, if you install this, you can go ahead and let's run Ionic Lab as well. And first of all, simply import the lock screen module and the component from this package. Um, we also want to use the Ionic storage and therefore I will also... You know, thanks for coming up. Uh, therefore I will also add the Ionic storage module. In the article, I also install the Cordova plugin for SQLite, so Ionic Storage uh, will then use SQLite on a device, but for now we will test all of this inside the browser and therefore uh, we don't really need um, the uh, Cordova plugin. Okay, <clears throat> so this comes from Ionic Storage and then we can import uh, the Ionic Storage module into our app. And we also need to add the lock screen module right to the imports and to the entry components we need the lock screen component. We need to import it here um, because it's not using lazy loading and we simply display the whole page as a component later on. Okay, that's fine for here. So let's go to our home and let's get a bit of color in here and call this Ionic lock screen. And then we just need two buttons. So um, we will not make the full authentication uh, stuff in here. This is really a basic example how to uh, use this lock screen um, component inside your app. Uh, I, on, I can name perhaps lock and then also open lock uh, screen. Um, button is closed, fine. Um, let's add a second button to set up the code for our lock screen settings and then uh, change code. All right, so let's implement the two functions in our home TS now. Open login uh, or lock screen and set up code. I'll also say a word more at the end about the limitations of this approach. For now, uh, let's go ahead and import a few things. So we will need the private uh, platform to check if we are ready. We need the storage, which we've installed before. Storage and make sure to use the right one. Yeah, Ionic storage, there it is. Um, then we might also need, uh, what do we need as well? Um, the private alert controller, alert controller, and then, uh, come on, and then perhaps also private toast controller, toast controller. Okay, I think that should be fine for now. So in the beginning, when the app starts, we first of all want to check if the platform is ready. Um, nope, that's not how it works. Um, what is wrong? This start platform ready. Okay, now it works. Interesting. Anyway, uh, so when the platform is ready, we will check our current storage and get the key for the passcode. Um, again, I will say a bit more on the security aspect of this approach later. For now, this just means if the user has never set a passcode and so we don't get any code, we want to call our setup code function, which will display a screen to set up the code. 
And let me bring in some code because this is just some typing. Um, present. Okay, so what we do inside the setup function is we create an alert view, just title message and one input. And this is really a very uh, basic input, uh, just so we can set a code for our app. This input will then be handled inside the button click for set code. And if the data is uh, not four digit long or actually four characters, which is still kind of wrong, we return false and otherwise we set this passcode to our local storage and then we can use it later when we bring up the actual lock screen. So this is our setup code again, um, very easy and uh, just so we can test the actual stuff. So when we want to open the lock screen, uh, we added this to a button. In a uh, regular case, you might have some timer running in the background perhaps or uh, whatever. If the app goes to the background, you want to open it. Uh, we will just trigger it with this uh, function. So then we will simply push the lock screen component uh, which we also need to import again from Ionic simple lock screen my package and then push this lock screen onto our current navigation control and The package was designed by Carson that you just need to add some parameters right here Which are then handled as nav params on his side So what you need to push is first of all the actual code which represents the code that is right and um the right combination to unlock the code again, uh, the, the app again. Then he has AC and delete buttons. Um, you can set this to true or false, uh, just how you like it. I will set it to false because the screen looks a bit cleaner, but you can give it a try with true as well. So then you got more buttons to uh, reset the code input. Passcode label, very straightforward, simply the title at the top so let's call this unlock app and then we got two more functions we can pass in here so the first is on correct uh, you might guess what this means so the passcode was entered correctly and then we got on wrong which also returns the number of attempts so do something on wrong as well and finally before i forget it no it's right so let's simply do a toast on these two events to see what's going on. So toast controller create message um, in the success case app unlocked and uh, duration perhaps two seconds should be enough. And then toast present of course. And same for the error case, but this time let's present a bit different message so uh, the number of attempts um, wrong possible attempts okay and present it as well so let's take a look how this looks like um, perhaps I've run the app before so I should uh, for now okay it's actually already removed so I got the screen to set a new lock code I will set this code. If I do it like this, it's too short. Uh, we return false inside this function here and therefore the uh, alert is not closed. But if we do four digits, we are fine. And then we can open the lock screen and the app is um, more or less locked. And if we do a wrong input now, we get this nice little animation and at the bottom we can also see the number of wrong attempts to the login. And if we now use the right login, our app is locked in. The screen will be uh, removed just like um, we have a pop event with enough controller. That's exactly what's going on in the on correct case. And then your app would be unlocked again. Um, Okay, so that's basically how to use this package and how to create an Ionic lock screen. Uh, two things now. So first, uh, we are simply presenting a view within our app. So this is not a whole security system. 
And of course we are doing it on purpose inside this function. So this means you need your own uh, logic for displaying this view inside your app and it is not 100% safe. Also, we're storing a passcode of the user within the storage and we're storing it in plain text right here. Um, and this is of course also not completely safe. So if you want to have it more safe, you could, for example, hash the uh, entered code and of course create a little bit nicer input than we got here. And then I might have to add a check to the uh, Ionic simple lock screen module so that you can also pass a hash value which is compared then. So that would be a first approach to make this a bit more safe. If you're interested in this, definitely leave a comment below, then uh, we can see, or if you want, you can also fork the repository or create a pull request with a new functionality. But anyway, um, let's keep the basic functionality like it is with a simple code input. So if you just need some minor sort of authentication inside the app to show a little bit of security, then using this Ionic simple lock screen is perfectly fine. And that's also why I call it simple lock screen. It's not a full blown authentication stuff. Um, why should you use this package instead of touch ID or face ID? Um, I don't know, no. Um, but you might have a case where you don't want to use the Apple or Android native stuff for your app, but still want this um, pattern which users know from other apps. So therefore you can use your own codes and are not dependent on the pin code or touch ID or whatever it is and get this nice little view, which we've seen here, which looks pretty good, I think out of the box. So thanks again to Carson for doing this. And if you have any comments for the package, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this quick win. If you want to see more resources on Ionic, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com if you want a great training platform to learn everything Ionic. Have a great day and I'll see you inside the next video.